today we are going to talk about a very overdue collaboration. Well, not that it's overdue, it's very two collaborations ago. And the collaboration that I am talking about is ColourPop times Candyland. When I saw that this collab was gonna go down, I was like, yo, I have to get it because Candyland was one of my favorite board games growing up. And now I get to play Candyland with my daughter, who also happens to love ColourPop. But I did manage to get the entire PR box. And she looks like this. So we have some lip glosses, some blushes, a luminizer, some base milks, and an eyeshadow palette. And of course, it also comes with the board game, the pieces, the cards, and all that. But today we are not reviewing the game because we all know we love it. We are going to review the product, even though you probably already know how it works because this has been out for like six months. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try on these products. The first products I want to try are the face milk. Now these face milks are supposed to hydrate and moisturize your face, which I have dry, dry skin. We'll do watermelon because it's pink. It says apply two to three drops into palms, warm between hands, and gently press into the skin. Use as needed. So we got one, two, three. Ooh. Now I got a big face, so I'm gonna do warm it up, press. It smells like my glow recipe skincare. Speaking of skincare, I need to like dermaplane my face. I'm gonna add a few more drops because I feel like three was just not enough for my face. Now already, if you do not like scented products, I don't think you're gonna enjoy this very, very much. Because it does, like I said, it has a strong fragrance. But now that I have that on my face, I am going to hundred these lips. Why is this like actually pretty? All right, we're gonna do our eye. This is the Candy Castle Press Powder Palette. What do I wanna do? I'm usually a neutral type of gal, but these, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It actually comes with a mirror. A mirror. It comes with a mirror. And I'm surprised because ColourPop palettes usually do not come with mirrors. Hello there. I'm usually a neutral kind of gal, so I don't know, I don't know which one speaks to me. Okay, first we're gonna start off with our transition shade and we are going to put down, bust it down with the Lord Licorice, which is this color right here. So I'm gonna get that on my ColourPop E16 brush. I am going to I'm gonna put it all over the lid just to make a good base because it is legit my lid color. All right, I'm going to go in with Grandma Nut, which is this little pink color right here. Fluffy brush and try to put that 
just a little bit above my crease, but I feel like I have hooded eyes. Even though you can still see a good amount of my eye, I just have a lot of skin. See? Now I'm going to go in to Candy Crush, which is this kind of like, kind of like a pinky brown tone. Wow, it kind of matches Grandma Nut, except with shimmer. I think it legit is grandma nut with shimmer. Wow, 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 wow. Oh no, color pulp. I'm gonna go in with plumpy, which is this purpley iridescent color right here. And I'm going to be putting that on my lid. Like a little topper. Ooh, that is pretty. I love this iridescent look. Oh my gosh. Kind of want to put in some dimension. So I'm going to go in with Gloppy, which is the brown tone right here. But it does have shimmer, so I don't know how I feel putting that in like my crease. It's like a purpley brown. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Glop kind of effed up my look. Should have just left it super monochrome. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna go in with Sugar High, which is this, which is this one up here, and I am going to put that on my inner corner. Just whatever is left on that brush that I got glop on, I'm just gonna put that on my bottom lash line. All right, now we have the blushes, which I have Gumdrop Pass, I have Jolly, and we have Gummy More, which I think I'm gonna go in with Jolly. It's this little pink one right here. We have three lip products. It's this pink one, it's called Let's Chill. This one's really pretty. The next one is Peppermint Frost. Ooh, this one's a little bit more Barbie pink. This next one is Mr. Mint, which is the apricot one. Ooh, I don't know, I think I'm gonna go in with Mr. Mint. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with BFF3 from ColourPop. I'm gonna go ahead and use Princess Jolly Lip Roller. Ah, this takes me back. Again, this is like, I got this for my eight year old, not this one, but I got her a separate one because I feel like it's fun like to play with, you know? It smells like childhood. Last but not least, I am using the Queen Frosting Pixie Puff Highlighter. And I heard this was a fan favorite. Now it comes with this big old blue puff. I am not sure where I would put this. If I was gonna put it on my face, I would use a small brush. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh yes, I am glistening. is very pretty. Now I pick up what you're dropping down. Now I see it. Okay, Queen Frosty! Got you on my pants like I just some glitter. All right, and this is the finished look. I am now if you made it this far, like I said, I managed to get the PR box, but I also managed to get a whole collection. The entire collection for one of you guys. Now all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and make sure you comment down below why you love Queen Frostine. 
Honestly, if you guys enjoyed this review and you guys like my reviews, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for a chance to win the entire Color Land collection, including Miss Queen Frostine. And I mean, it's 110% free, so you might as well just subscribe just because it's free, right? Comment on this look. What is your favorite part and why is she Miss Queen Frostine? Follow me on all my social medias if you would like. They are down below. I'm Yari. You're awesome. And I will see you guys later. Bye.